All right, Ty, thank you. And of course, we are dedicated to keeping you informed. We are plugging in and, and keeping in touch with all of our contacts and resources. And again, Facebook and Twitter following that as well. And if you have any information, share your pictures and all those items there with us. Of course, we will keep you updated on this storm. And the downpour happening right now cannot be good news for a large sinkhole in our area. Yeah, the sinkhole formed in Lake Jackson more than a month ago. And as our Greg Bennett tells us, it could be more than just a big hole. I'm at Lake Jackson in Leon County, and right behind me is actually another sinkhole that has opened up. Now, where I'm standing is actually the bed of this lake, and because of the drought and tropical storm Debbie rolling through, experts tell me it's affecting the ecology of Lake Jackson. This uh, sinkhole just drained a very small portion of um, Lake Jackson. I spoke with Michael Hill of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission to find out why Lake Jackson is drying out. If this drought continues, which is the main reason the lake is getting so uh, shallow, is because of the evaporation and the transpiration of the water vapor coming through the plants and lake-wide. This, the, this sandy bottom is the water just percolates down through the sand. And then the fourth way the water leaves the lake is through these sinkholes. But when it comes to fishing, Hill tells me that most of Lake Jackson is safe and that the fish are biting. Now, it's unclear if they're actually going to go ahead and plug up this sinkhole, but it is known that a lot of these homeowners that have purchased land right on this lake are very upset that they're looking at a dry lake bed. Now, coming up at 5.30, we'll discuss more about these sinkholes and why they're popping up here all over North Florida. Reporting in Leon County, Greg Bennett, WTXL, ABC 27, dedicated to you. Well, since Tropical Storm Debbie, sinkholes have been popping up all over North Florida, some threatening buildings and properties. And as ABC 27's Greg Bennett reports, these holes can start small, but then grow into a pretty big problem. Well, for the past few weeks, sinkholes have been popping up everywhere across North Florida, including this one in Lake Jackson. Check this one out in Leon County, a massive sinkhole at least 30 to 40 feet deep. And you wouldn't imagine that some of these sinkholes across the area are even larger than this one. The real reason this and other sinkholes exist in Florida is because under our feet, the geological strata that occur there, in our case it's limestone, is able to be dissolved away over geologic time by acidic rainwater. Harley Means of the Florida Department of Environmental Protection shed some light on the reason why these sinkholes are popping up within our area. From time to time when you have an event like Tropical Storm Debbie, and that's coincided with a drought, Forgive my uh, pun here, but it's a perfect storm. It's, it's exactly when we see sinkhole activity. And as geologists, we actually predicted. We saw Tropical Storm Debbie coming in. We were in a very severe drought in most of Florida, particularly the, the karst regions of Florida. And you get down onto what's what we call a limestone plain, or the Woodville Karst Plain. Limestone is essentially right at the surface there. And so all of the karst features that are uh, abundant and familiar to us, like sinkholes, occur south of us, south of that uh, line that we call the Cody Escarpment. Now, many of these sinkholes have actually affected homeowners here in the area. And at the News at 6, we'll discuss how these sinkholes could be affecting your homeowner's insurance. Reporting in Leon County, Greg Bennett, WTXL, ABC 27, dedicated to you. Well, sinkholes in Florida are nothing new, but they are causing new problems, especially in the wake of Tropical Storm Debbie. The problem is insurance experts say sinkholes on your property could cause you to lose coverage on your home. WTXL ABC 27's Greg Bennett sat down with insurance agents today and explains. Well, homeowners have been dealing with many sinkholes, such as this one right behind me, that have been affecting their backyards, their front yards, and even underneath their homes, destroying the foundations of their houses. The big question is that many people have with these sinkholes in their front yards is how is it affecting their homeowner's insurance? If the home needs repairs, they need to make the repairs and, and get um, copies that those repairs have been made appropriately. If the home is totaled, um, they will need to work under that arrangement and either rebuild the home entirely uh, or, you know, look for, understand that the home will be totaled and the total loss of that home uh, and the total payout on that home concludes the terms of that policy. So once they make repairs or rebuild, they then can go and look for new coverage. 
So even though you might see the worst case scenario and your home is fixed, including your property, but you're dropped from your existing policy, there's still a light at the end of that tunnel that allows you to continue shopping for another insurance policy. Reporting in Leon County, Greg Bennett, WTXL ABC 27, dedicated to you. By the way, if you happen to have any questions about your homeowner policy, you can contact the Consumer Service Helpline at one 877 693-5236. Now, your Storm Team weather with Chief Meteorologist Casanova Nurse.